Hey guys, last week I did a video about the Razorblade 14 gaming laptop, which I have here, and you can see its screen in the background. And in the video, I was speaking about this laptop's battery, and I showed you the health of its battery by generating a Windows battery report. So what I'd like to do in this video is show you how you can generate that report yourself using Windows PowerShell. It's very easy to do, and it is worthwhile doing as well because it will show you the capacity of your battery it will show you how it's discharging and it will show you the battery life that you've actually experienced so far with your laptop so the first thing that you need to do is open up windows powershell and it's very easy to do easiest way to do it is to go down to the windows start icon right click and then go to windows powershell admin and then select just select yes now if you prefer you can simply type in powershell down at the search bar but I find the other way the other method easier now once this is loaded up what you need to do is type in power cfg space forward slash battery report which I have already done and once you've done that click enter and you'll see that it's saved to c windows system 32 battery report.html so you can copy that control c open up File Explorer and put it into the bar at the top. And there you go. That's the battery report. That is how easy it is to actually generate that report. So if you want to change the directory where the battery report is saved or change the name of the generated file, all you have to do is use a command such as this. Power CFG space battery report space output space and then in exclamation marks, put the directory and the file name that you want to save it to. And the process is the same. This time I've saved it to C battery report.html. So if I go up here, I'll go to my C drive and you can see the battery report is there. Now I'm showing you, showing you that just so you get a little bit more flexibility as to where that file is saved. But just remember both of these reports here are identical. It's the, the exact same report. So here is the battery report. And you can see at the top, I've got my computer name. I've got the system product name, which is the name of my laptop. We've got the BIOS. We've got the operating system build. And you can see we've got the report time, which is when I generated the report itself. So we've got the installed battery. We've got the design capacity here, the full charge capacity. You can see recent usage. And this will show you when you've been charging it, when you've been using it, what it went down to, etc. And there's a graph there as well. And then we've got usage history there. And then we've got battery capacity history as well. And you can see how the capacity of your battery is going down. And then you've got battery life estimates at the bottom. Now, this is one of the most useful and most interesting reports to me because it will show you the actual battery life that you've been getting with your laptop. And obviously that will change depending on how you have been using your laptop, whether you've been pushing it hard, or whether you've been using something like the battery saver mode, which I've been using. And in this laptop, I was getting really bad battery life, but you can see that I've been getting much better times just by implementing useful battery saving techniques. Another tool which I recommend for analyzing your battery and your battery usage is HWinfo. And this software can be downloaded free of charge from hwinfo.com. So I've got this software installed on this laptop already. You can see it there. And this software isn't just for analyzing your battery. It will give you amazing information about your CPU, about your GPU, about temperatures, about memory. It's just fantastic. Now if I scroll down to the bottom here, you can see for my Razorblade 14, it shows battery voltage, remaining capacity, charge level, charge rate, wear level, and estimated remaining time. And all of this is based on my current usage. So if I just start playing a game or start playing a 4K video on YouTube, you know, the, the charge rate would go from minus, minus 15 watts or so to maybe minus 25, minus 30. And the estimated re remaining time would drop quite quickly as well. And this software is something that I used a lot when I was optimizing my battery and it allowed me to understand what was going on and it allowed me to extend the battery life of this laptop so there you have it guys that's how easy it is to analyze the health of your laptop's battery 
in Windows. Both of those commands can be found in the description area, so feel free to copy and paste. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've got any questions, please do leave a comment below. And until next time, take care.